Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well in this just unprecedented times. Um, I think one of the things that we've discovered is Zoom. <laughs> Many people have been using it for their presentations, uh, for meetings, etc. One of the things you might, you might want to do is um, just know how to share a, a PowerPoint presentation using Zoom. So this is a tutorial on how to use PowerPoint to present using Zoom. Um, it's computer tutoring. So let's have a look. So this is a PowerPoint presentation that I gave over Zoom. Uh, it's a very, very simple one. It's only one slide just to introduce a one hour free Excel Essentials training session that we ran last week. Uh, so it's just a normal sort of presentation here. Uh, I've set it up with two screens. So there's a laptop screen here on my right and on the left hand side is just a, an older um, monitor because uh, uh, I'm not broadcasting from the office, obviously like everyone else working from home. So uh, what do we do here? So first thing is, is um, let us, um, that if you're doing the presentation, normally you would go to slideshow and from beginning like so, and then on the right screen there, you can see the presentation on the left is the control, uh, the controller sort of screen where you can decide which slides you're gonna go to and make notes and know what slides coming next, all of that. So uh, let's see if we can get it zoom into the fray uh, a little bit here. So uh, what I'm just gonna do is sometimes seeing the screen when you're in the middle of presentation mode is a bit hard. So I'm just gonna use the alt tab keys on the keyboard uh, easily so I can go and find zoom like so so I can do that uh, let's say for instance oh just one thing if I just double click um, actually if I just come out of that presentation if say zoom has already started so if I start a new meeting in zoom okay so you can see us there let me just uh, get rid of that second screen view because I'm in two, two, two screen modes uh, okay so if, if something's already started in zoom and you think right yeah i want to share the screen you can start your presentation you know ready to go in um uh, i don't know what screen to look at now i've got my <laughs> my webcam here and also the other camera as well uh, so let's say for instance i'm in my presentation here okay and i think great i want to start it so i click on from beginning which is great so presentation is ready to go so i just want to share the screen so i'm using alt tab again on the keyboard so the alt tab to swap between uh, the screens uh, and i'm just going to go back to my uh, zoom presentation my zoom options here I'll make sure i get the right one here we go um, now sometimes if i'm not in full screen if i'm just in a smaller screen i might have to click a, just at the top left hand corner there if i needed to see uh, myself i might there we go i might see my view here because zoom does that when you're automatically doing your presentation so you're just doing that here the only problem is is when you're doing this you're sharing your whole screen you don't want to share your whole screen so let me just go back here these options i'm going to click on share screen and then with these options what you want to do is you um don't share screen one you know, even though your PowerPoint presentation might be on that screen, uh, the difficulty, the problem with that is if you have like, I have WhatsApp set up on here, I have like my emails set up, so I get my notifications. So whenever you're presenting, and say you're presenting last week with this, we had like 30 or so people, uh, you'll see the, 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 the um, little notifications popping in from the side. And I always get lots of messages from people saying, oh, Simon, you, we can see all of your notifications. So you don't want to see any of those at all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that we choose the actual slideshow. So you see this one just here. That's the actual slideshow that I want to share. So that's the, what we're going to do. So I'm just going to click on this. You can decide whether or not you want to share your computer sound. If if you do, say for instance, you've got a video that's actually on the presentation from your chief executive or your boss or whatever, you might want to share your computer sound so they can see the video. We are not because I'm giving this presentation there uh, as well. Incidentally, if you are uh, just one quick, if you are sharing the computer sound here, then it's worthwhile just ticking this if you go, um, if you, especially if you're playing a video, so it optimizes the screen so it's the right size for people's uh, other screens so they can share the video. Great, so I click on this, I click on the share button at the bottom here, and now I'm actually sharing that presentation. Uh, I can go through the controller screen on the left-hand side, and if you're just using a single screen, no worries, what I can do is I can just click and then just go through the presentation. I mean, for instance, last week we went through essential formulas, fundamental formatting, and need to know navigation. That's all just really to set the scene for the training. That's all I did. When you finish, you click on stop sharing, uh, and there you go. Um, 
So uh, let me just end the meeting there. That's a very short meeting. Now it's great, I'm back into Zoom there. So there you go, that's all you need to use PowerPoint in conjunction with Zoom. So it's basically presenting a PowerPoint presentation using Zoom. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, click on that subscription button and the notifications button. We're going to do a lot of more Zoom tutorials as well, talking about how to create fancy uh, virtual backgrounds as well. And we're going to have also have a look at uh, just uh, annotations and just other things as well. Just best practices when you're giving a presentation and problems that I've come across in using Zoom. If you've got anything out of this tutorial, then give it a, give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. I just want to say that um, we are now really pushing the live online uh, courses. So just very quickly from our website, if I just, uh, let me just shut down uh, the presentation here, uh, and then we'll just go to our um, website. So again, if you uh, are on computer tutoring, our website, if you just uh, go to online training, so we've got just online training just here. So if you give that a click, um, and then if you go to live online just here, and then have a, just to scroll down there, just little benefits. And at the moment we're running a live online Excel classes. So if you click on that, it will give you the schedule. If you just want to book that, then no problem at all. You just click on the book here button, fill out the form and submit it. Uh, and then we can book yourself on a course. So we're running Excel courses and Power BI at the moment, but watch this space. We'll see how popular these courses uh, are and these classes are. But of course we run any of our courses uh, using Zoom. So if you've got, got uh, a few people together and you want to run a, a, maybe a Zoom class or an Excel class or a Power BI class, then please get in contact with us. Uh, we're really contactable. Give us a telephone call or uh, you can uh, email us or watch our Instagram accounts and the other social media uh, as well. Just want to say thank you so much for watching and take care guys.